Hey folks, uh, while filming the uh, 9.8 uh, dropper pose review, I realized that it was getting too long. So uh, here's a quick video on the actual remote. This is the 9.8 digit that uh, was designed in collaboration with the Wolf Tooth components. You can actually see their logo over there. Um, Wolf Tooth calls this uh, remote light action. 9.8 uh, calls it uh, digit. Uh, it's pretty much one and the same remote. So here are the details. Since I'm still rocking these, uh, the set of XT brakes, uh, you can see them M785. Uh, this is going to be an installation of the iSpec uh, B version of the lever. Uh, however, iSpec 2, I, Matchmaker, or obviously the bar clamp installation, it's uh, pretty much identical with this. I don't have a Matchmaker here for SRAM, but this is iSpec 2 bar clamp, and you see here the iSpec set up for iSpec B, iSpec A would use this little piece. Um, three millimeter hex key is what you need for this one screw that holds together the whole mechanism. So as you remove this, uh, here it goes. So this is your attachment. You can change it to whatever you want to use. Then you have this piece that holds the barrel adjustment for your uh, cable. And then you have the actual lever that has this um, digit axle, which is just a piece of plastic, fits into a ball bearing. Look at this. So that's what makes it uh, move nicely and smoothly. This uh, digit axle, it's a breakaway point. So uh, if you fall and you drag your dropper remote on the, on the ground or whatever you do, this is the weakest link built into the system. It's gonna break first. Just replace this and you're good to go. Um, the only other tool that I'm going to need for this uh, uh, iSpec B installation, this grub screw over here uh, uses a 2 millimeter Allen key. So when I install this onto the bar clamp of my brake, I'm going to need that uh, uh, 2 millimeter Allen key. There is no Loctite installed on any of these screws here. Uh, the torque is 2.5 newton meter, which is not a whole lot. Uh, most probably when I install them, I'm going to put a tiny bit of blue um, Loctite on them just to make sure they don't come undone. One last thing uh, worth mentioning here is you can see that how that bolt onto the uh, digit axle is actually uh, moving into a slot. So you have a way to adjust this offset. In my case, I think I'm going to just push it uh, inwards as much as I can. Uh, this is nice and textured over here. Of course, it has the 9.8 logo. First of all, you need a 4mm hex key to remove the bar clamp. Then use something like a 2mm. Uh, they have a little uh, hole in here on the side. As soon as you push on that one, you'll be able to actually open up this uh, bar clamp. Because it's a two-piece. Tiny, tiny bit of Loctite uh, put on that uh, the thread of that grub screw. This is my insert. Push it in and lock in place. So with that in place, just uh, push back your brake uh, clamp and replace your four millimeter screw. Okay, so what I actually did here, I over rotated my uh, my brake onto the bar just so you see how it attaches. So that's my iSpec B attachment. This is the attachment point. It's going to snap into place. Snap. And this is my 3 millimeter screw. Put a bit of Loctite on that one, like I said. So here is installed. It's actually very similar to my shifter on the other side. Ergonomics should be okay. Anyway, finally, before you feed your cable through, just uh, use a 2.5 mil to uh, unscrew this uh, cable set screw a little bit. Just make room for your inner cable. And then take this barrel adjuster. So turn it clockwise all the way in. And then one, two, three, four, five, six turns out. Fit the cable through. And as you push it through the barrel, then you push it here into the lever. Last thing, put a bit of tension onto your cable. Use the same 2.5 millimeter hex and just 
tighten your cable here. This is uh, very shallow here, so make sure you use a good uh, quality hex screw so you don't strip it. Make sure that you have a bit of play as well. It, perfect. Last thing to do, finally trim the inner cable and use one of the fancy colored uh, cable ends that you have in your toolbox. The standard Wolf Tooth remote only has a shorter lever here, a uh, bit of a stubby one, and they actually have a nice table on their website uh, recommended either the standard or the light action uh, remote uh, for the various droppers out there. This is the equivalent again of the remote light action. It, the, the action is indeed light, that big uh, ball bearing here that this is pivoting uh, on uh, definitely helps. Um, if I am to talk about something that I don't really like, well the fact that I have the cable exposed here, if you were to ride in uh, muddy conditions and rain or if you wa when you wash your bike, you might get water just uh, sipping right in here into your housing, so you might have to replace that housing more often than otherwise. Uh, that's pretty much it guys, just uh, remember that I uh, filmed this as part of a 9.8 uh, full line uh, dropper review. Just use the links on the screen to get a view of that one. And uh, as usual, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I will see you on the trails.